a hero both on the football field and the battlefield. Many people knew Pat Tillman as the undersized player with an oversized heart. Pat Tillman knocked the helmet off of Isaac Byrne. Pat Tillman died April 22, 2004 on the Afghan-Pakistan border, ambushed fighting Taliban and Afghan forces. Hundreds of soldiers have been killed in battle. Why does Tillman stand out? Because his story is very special. Pat Tillman on the play. Tillman began his football career at Arizona State University. He was the littlest big guy on the field, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. Doug Tamaro, friend of Tillman and media coordinator at ASU, had a chance two months yeah. ago to have dinner with it Tillman. Was just, it was just fun to be around. And, and that night, you know, I never get dessert. I got dessert. Never drink coffee after a meal. I got coffee because I did not want the night to end. I kind of wanted it to be like, like Groundhog Day. You know, I just want the day to come back and come back and come back. While at ASU, Tillman was crowned Pac-10 Player of the Year. He was also a star in the classroom as well. I and mean, he was a 3.8 student. That's amazing that he wasn't a 4.0. I, I'd never want to see the classes that he didn't get an A in. After completing his college career, Tillman moved on to the NFL with the Arizona Cardinals for four years. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 changed everything for Tillman. My great-grandfather was at Pearl Harbor and a lot of my family has given up, you know, has gone and fought in wars and, and I really haven't done a damn thing um, as far as laying myself on the line like that and so I have a great deal of respect for those that have and what the flag stands for. Following this interview, Tillman made the decision to walk away from a $3.6 million contract with the Cardinals and join the elite Army Rangers with his brother Kevin. Pat's family and friends received news of his death on a Thursday and knew that he was not coming home. I think that Pat Tillman was probably the, the gentlest, caring guy around that my brother and I knew, my family knew. Hundreds if not thousands of people have made their way out to Sun Devil Stadium to pay their respects to Pat Tillman. Some soldiers have even stopped by to drop off medals they have won in the battlefield. In fact, one soldier dropped off the Purple Heart. Pat Tillman is a true example of a human being. He's special. And ASU should be proud they had him. He gave his life for our country to fight for us. He may have gone before us, but you know what? We're all going to catch up with him in a place that's better. You know, he'll be my hero. He'll be my daughter's hero. He's my wife's hero. Pat Tillman never stopped looking for new challenges on the field and in life. When he found them, he met them head on. He made the ultimate sacrifice when he chose patriotism over a paycheck. A hero that will never be forgotten. A statement that will live on with the spirit of Pat Tillman.